Hello students, this is the last trench of bacteriology series in seminar 1 and we will discuss mycology and virology. So let's proceed with mycology first. Okay, what are the two uh, phases of fungi? Number 1, yeast phase. Ano ang yeast phase? Uh, this is described as a smooth, creamy, bacterial-like colony. Okay? Mukha siyang bacteria uh, that grows at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius or body temperature. Ito lang ang phase na to na kaya nila mag-produce or mag-reproduce via budding or fission. Uh, the second phase is the mold phase. Ang mold phase naman, ito yung nakikita natin madalas sa mga sapatos, lumang damit, or uh, pagkain. Uh, it uh, appears as fuzzy, woolly in appearance with the formation of mycelia. And this grows best at 25 degrees Celsius or room temperature. So again, ano nga ba yung mycelia? Mycelia, which occurs in mold phase only, consists of tube-like structures called hyphae. And itong hyphae na to yung nagpapa-appear as fuzzy and woolly in appearance once na nag-sama-sama uh, sila. Okay? Ang hyphae can be classified according to function. Number one, Aerial hyphae. Ang aerial hyphae supports the reproductive structure para sa um, tag dito, uh, production of new type of fung fungal cells. While vegetative naman, para yan sa nutrition, no? para mag-grow sila. Okay? Uh, this type of hyphae absorbs water and nutrients. Ano daw ang other term for vegetative hyphae? It is also known as talus. Hyphae is also classified according to formation. Anong itsura nila under microscope? Okay. We have septate. Ang septate, uh, um, makikita mo yan under microscope which presents with uh, cross walls. No? May mga division per uh, strand of hyphae. Ang aseptate naman, uh, this is described as few to absent cross walls, dire diretso or walang division of the hyphal strand. Sino, sino lang ang may aseptate formation ng hyphae? Yung mga zygomycetes. Okay? Ano tong mga zygomycetes na to? Tatandaan natin no RAM, rhizopus, absidia, and mucor. Ano ba itong mga zygomycetes na to? These are also your free-living um, fungi. Another term na papatandaan natin sa inyo, no? Only in candida albicans, pseudohyphae. And pseudohyphae is a different type of mycelia dahil it occurs only in yeast phase, not in mold phase. Okay, dito tayo sa dimorphic fungi. Dimorphic fungi, it only means that the fungi appears in two forms. Di means dalawa. Morph means dalawang itsura. Okay? Um, this include mold phase. Ano ulit ang mold phase? At room temperature at 25 degrees Celsius. And yeast, ano ang yeast? 35 to 37 degrees Celsius or body temperature. Or, paki-take note natin ang spherule. Okay? Ito, ma iisa lang ang bacteria na, na merong spherule phase. So, alamin natin yan later on. Okay. Yeast phase tayo. Sa yeast phase, only in vivo. Ano ibig sabihin ng in vivo? Inside the body. So, dapat body temperature. Again, 37 degrees Celsius. Or, ang range natin is... 35 to 37. Mold phase, room temperature. So, outside. Ang uh, range natin dyan is 22 to 25 degrees Celsius. Sino lang ang may dimorphism sa mga fun, uh, fungal family? So, mnemonics natin, no? Body heat changes, probably changes shape. 
So, B is for blastomyces dermata, uh, dermatiti, dermatitidis histoplasma capsulatum. Letter P, paracoxidiodes brasiliensis. And C, coxidiodes imitis, which only present with mold and spherule phase. And lastly, letter S, sporothrix shenki. So again, ano ulit yung mga may dimorphic, uh, dimorphism na fungi family. But plastomyces, uh, histoplasma, paracoxidiodes, coxidiodes, and sporothrix. So tatandaan lang natin, no? Uh, itong coxidiodes can only form mold and spherule. Two types of uh, reproduction. Number one, asexual. Ano ang nangyayari kay asexual? Uh, there is a formation of a conidia after the process of mitosis. Kapag asexual, wala siyang kapartner na another fungal cell. Unlike sexual, kailangan may dalawang compatible fungal cell following the process of meiosis. Asexual uh, stage is also known as anamorph stage. Ang sexual stage is also known as telemorph stage. So, hindi tayo malilito dyan kasi parehas A, si asexual and anamorph. So, tinan natin dito. Okay? So, in one fungal cell, pwede niyang gawin yung dalawang stage. So, pwede siya mag-asexual No? Pag wala siya na meet na compatible fungal cell do sa uh, structure niya, it will undergo mitosis forming your conidia. Okay? Kapag may na meet siya na uh, compatible fungal cell, so sexual stage tayo uh, in the process of meiosis forming your spores. If, no, meron tayong term na uh, sin anamorph Ang sin anamorph, uh, it uh, involves another stage of asexual. Okay? Kailangan niya dumaan ng dalawang beses na asexual stage prior to proceeding to sexual stage. So, ang tawag dito is sin anamorph. Okay, again, sexual spores or spores by asexual uh, reproduction tayo. Ano ulit ang gina ginagawa ng mga asexual conidia? Sa sexual spores. Okay. These are the types of sp uh, spores. Number one, ascospores. Ang ascospores is uh, spores contained in a sac-like uh, tube called ascus. Okay. Zygospores naman, two identical uh, cells arising from the same hyphae. So, ano yan? Uh, halimbawa, itong hyphae na to, no? Ito yung dalawang cell, okay? And then, ito na yung nabuo niyang zygospores. Okay? Uh, spores naman, fusion of cells from separate or non-identical hyphae. Ito yung hyphae nila, right? And then, ito yung nabuo nilang fusion of cells or uh, spores. Basidio spores naman, spores contain in a club shape. Ano ibig sabihin ng club shape? Yung ginagamit for uh, golf, right? And then, itong term na to is called basidium. So, ito yung mukha daw, uh, for yung dulo ng golf club. Okay? And then, we have this special term, fungi imperfecti. Fungi imperfecti does, uh, does not exhibit sexual phase, but spores are produced asexually. Tandaan natin, no? may mga exception tayo dyan, ha? Ang conidia can be formed by asexual production. Spores are formed by sexual production, except yung mga fungi imperfecti. Next, conidiogenesis or the formation of conidia. And again, uh, from which process? Asexual reproduction. So, may dalawang mode of formation of conidia. Number one, plastic. Dito muna tayo. 
sa blastic, no? First, meron mo ng septation. Ano ulit ng septation? Ito yung mga cross walls. And then, yung nahiwalay na dulo, mag enlarge yan. And it will be separated into daughter cells. Okay? Next, sa thalic mode naman. Sa thalic mode, meron elongation or finger-like process. Okay? And then, magkakaroon ng septum. And then, maghihiwalay na. Separation of daughter cells. Okay? Sa blastic, kailangan may enlargement. Ha? Sa thalic mode, kailangan may finger-like el uh, elongation. Okay. Types of conidia naman tayo. Number one, blastoconidia or blastospore. Um, these are daughter cells but from, another, uh, from the mother cell that is pinched off. Uh, the normal formation of conidia. Ganyan lang yan. And, at sino ang madalas na nagbablastoconidia or nagperform ng blastoconidia? Your candida albicans. Remember, candida albicans, siya lang ang may pseudohyphae. Ano ulit ang pseudohyphae? Hyphae na na-form during what phase? Mold or yeast? It's in the yeast phase. Arthroconidia naman o arthrospores, fragmentation of the mycelium at the septum. So, ito yung mga arthroconidia. And example of that, coxidiodes imitis and trichosporon. Alalahanin natin, coxidiodes imitis, only fung fungi that has a spherule form. Sporangiospore naman tayo. So sporangios sporangiospore, spores contained in a sporangia or sac-like formation. Okay? Huwag kayo magpapalito dyan with the ascospores, no? Ascospore is a, is a true spore. Ang sporangiospore is a conidia. Sino lang ang may sporangiospore? Again, your zygomycetes. Sino yung mga zygomycetes? Rhizopus, absidia, and mucor or RAM. Para mnemonics natin yan. Next, your chlamydia, chlamydoconidia or chlamydospore. These are resistant resting spores. Kapag wala silang um, mahanap na pagkain, no? kailangan nila ng parang uh, uh, part of the body that resist death or yung decline of the nutrients. Okay. Dito tayo sa terminal. Ang terminal, ibig lang sabihin niyan, yung chlamydoconidia is found in, dun sa dulong part of the hyphae. Ang intercalary, dun sa gitnang part of the hyphae. Ang sessile, dun sa sides of the hyphae. Okay? Diagnostics tayo. The routine test uh, that are usually uh, being utilized in the laboratory are the following. Number one, saline mount. Saline mount, direct observation lang. No? Gagamit ka lang ng saline um, reagent. And kapag saline mount, no, i-appreciate mo lang yung formation of the yeast, hyphae or pseudohyphae. Again, sino ang may pseudohyphae? Your candida albicans. Next, your KOH preparation or potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide helps to dissolve your keratin na makikita sa skin, hair, and nails. Kung ito yung may infection. No? Madalas ang gagamitin mo is KOH preparation. And ano ang reagent na gagamitin? 10% KOH. Special test naman tayo. Uh, uh, Siyempre, itong special test para sa mga special na fungi lang. Okay, number one, India ink or negrosin is used for your cryptococcus neoformans. Cryptococcus neoformans causes meningitis. Kapag meningitis, ang problem, ano ang spe specimen of choice? Siyempre, your cerebrospinal fluid. And under microscope, makikita mo ang fungi as clear halo and ang background mo is black. Number two, lactophenol cotton blue uses your Aman 
medium. Ang fungi mo is kulay blue, no? And background is white. Number three, gym stain or right stain is used for your histoplasma capsulatum. Remember, histoplasma capsulatum kasama siya sa dimorphic fungi. Next stain, your gomori methanamine silver nitrate. Uh, it will stain your fungal cells as dark rose while your background is pale green. Then lastly, your PAS or periodic acid shift. Ang kulay naman ng fungi is per pink to purple. Culture media tayo. Depende dun sa gusto mong i-isolate. Okay? For the general isolation ng kahit anong uh, fungi, ang gagamitin mo is the SDA or the Saburo Dextrose Agar. And minsan, hinahaluan natin yan ng mga antibiotics. Okay? Meron tayong SDA-CC. Ano yung CC na yan? Cyclohexamide and chloramphenicol. Ang cyclohexamide inhibits your saprophytic fungi or the free-living fungi and your cryptococcus neoformans. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin kung, um, kung mataas ang presumption mo ng cryptococcal meningitis. While your chloramphenicol inhibits most of the bacteria. And ano yung uh, most common brand name for the SDC, SDACC? Mycocell or Mycobiotic Medium. Ito yung dalawang brand, uh, famous brand names. Next, your dermatophyte test medium for your dermatophytes or the cutaneous uh, mycosis. Ano yung cutaneous mycosis natin? Tandaan lang natin no, yung ating mnemon uh, mnemonics na M E T. Ano yung M E T? Microsporon, ep epidermophyton and trichophyton. Again no, eto mamimit natin yan later on. So wag kayong mag-alala. Brain heart infusion naman or BHI for systemic mycosis. Sino yung mga madalas mag-systemic mycosis? Yung mga dimorphic na fungi. Ano ulit yung mga dimorphic fungi? Yung mnemonics natin is body uh, heat probably changes shape. So, sila yung mga madalas mag-systemic mycosis. And ang gagamitin natin is the brain heart infusion uh, medium. Next medium, bird seed agar or nigger seed agar for cryptococcus neoformans. Again, recall natin ano ang ink or ano ang stain for this India ink or negrosin. Ang gagamitin na agar, nigger seed agar or bird seed agar. And it appears as black colonies after 4 to 7 days. For candida naman tayo, cornmeal agar with twin AT. Ang most preferable culture media. Next, rice medium for microsporum odini. Naalala nyo si microsporum kasama siya sa mga dermatophytes. Next medium, your cotton seed agar con which converts mold Phase to yeast phase of what fungi? Your blastomyces dermatitidis. PDA or potato dextrose agar for trichophyton rubrum. So let's proceed with mycosis. Mycosis means uh, dis diseases or disorders caused by fungal uh, family. Kinlasify, ito uh, super summary table na to, no? Kinlasify natin yung mga mycosis into the level of infection, no? We have superficial or beyond the skin, cutaneous sa skin level, subcutaneous beyond the skin, mycetoma, yung mga mucous membrane, systemic na sa bloodstream, opportunistic. Ano ibig sabihin na opportunistic? These are fungi that uh, 
hindi madalas magkaroon or magproduce ng uh, disease but kapag um, however kapag nagbumaba yung immune system ng pasyente magkakaroon siya ng opportunity to cause disease kaya tinawag na opportunistic mycosis and his infection yung candida and cryptococcus neoformans Okay, unahin natin superficial mycosis affects at the level of stratum corneum only. Ito yung outermost layer of your skin, remember? Okay, number one, malasisya for four complex. Uh, this is, ang disease na kinakos niya is pteriasis or tinea versicolor. Bakit may uh, term na versicolor? It alternates the color. If, if yung uh, skin mo is uh, dark, okay? Uh, yung malisisya for four will produce a white patch. Kapag naman uh, fair skin ka, no? It will produce a red to brown patches. So, it alternates the color of the affected skin. Under microscope, it appears as spaghetti with, spaghetti with meatball appearance. Number two, Pedraria horte, and this is black pedra, and it affects the uh, hairs on the scalp. It appears as nodules with eight ascospores. Alam niyo si ascospores? These are spores con contained in sac-like formation called ascus. Trichosporon bay jelly or your white pedra. So, wag kayo magpapalito sa black and white pedra. Okay? Si black pedra is again your pedra uh, horte. And then white pedra is trichosporon bay jelly. Okay. Ang new name niya uh, in the current books, no? Trichosporon asahi. So, baka uh, lumabas lang sa boards, hindi na be jelly, kundi asahin na yung new name niya. And then, it will produce not black, no? Dahil white to. Light brown or to, uh, light brown to gray colored nodules on the beard, axilla, and mustache, which affects only the immunocompromised. The number for Horte, Vernecki, or uh, which causes your tinea nigra. It appears uh, as brown to black scaly patches in palms and soles. Cutaneous naman tayo, beyond or actually on the uh, skin epiderm epidermis. It affects your hair, nails, and skin. Depende kung anong klaseng Fungiyan. And these diseases are collectively known as tinya or ringworm. Ano ulit ang culture media of choice for cutaneous mycosis? Your dermatophyte test medium. So, sino ulit yung mga cutaneous mycosis? Tatandaan natin yung MET, right? Microsporon, epidermophyton, and trichophyton. So, ano yung mga affectation nila? Kapag microsporon, it affects skin and hair only. Epidermophyton, skin and nails. Trichophyton, tatlo, three, okay? Three affectation, skin, hair, and nails. Okay? So, anong maitsura nila under microscope? If you observe their macroconidia or the bigger forms of conidia, a microsporon will uh, show large spindle-like and multi-septated macroconidia. While yung epidermophyton and trichophyton both appears as club shape. Sa microconidia naman tayo, mga small types of conidia, microsporon, few to absent, epidermophyton, absent macroconidia, trichophyton, maraming microconidia. So, these are your different types of tinya, okay? And, yung last column natin, yung MCC, ano yung MCC ulit? Most common cause. Okay, let's proceed. Tinya barbie causes 
uh, um, tinya in the facial hairs, no? Uh, it's either bigote or balbas. Tinya kapitis, okay? Sa scalp naman yan. Black dot, may dalawang types of uh, tinya kapitis, no? Black dot tinya kapitis or endothrix. Most common cause dyan is trichophyton tonsurans. Ang gray patch, okay, patch has sila, okay? Also known as your ectothrix. Ang most common dyan is microsporon canis. Tinia cruris naman tayo, uh, which causes your groin tinia or jock itch. Tinia corporis, body or trunk or abdomen or lower uh, back. Manum, hand, palm or fingers. Uh, most common cause is trichophyton rubrum. Tinia pedis, uh, uh, found in the sole or in between toes or also known as your athlete's foot. Tinia favosa, uh, bigyan natin niya ng special ano, bigyan na natin niya ng star, okay? Tinia favosa infects hair follicle. And the most common causative agent is trichophyton shonlaini which appears as antler-like hyphae or favic chandelier. So, ano yung ibig sabihin niyan? Alam nyo ba yung ano, uh, tag dito, sungay ng mga deers? Okay? So, ito yung antler, no? Uh, antler-like hyphae. And kapag binaligtad mo yan, mukha daw silang chandeliers. And ito yung most prod predominant characteristic of trichophyton shonlaini which causes your tinea favosa which infects your hair follicles. Okay. Two most common trichophyton species are your trichophyton ment mentagrophytes and uh, trichophyton rubrum. Ano naman ang difference nila? Microscopic features and tri Trichophyton mentagro mentagrophytes appears as teardrop microconidia or sp with spiral hyphae. And trichophyton rubrum naman, clavid or peg shape. So, makikita natin dito, no? Mukhang ha pangharang ng ano, ng baboy, ng manok, di ba? Peg. Yung mga pegs natin. Spiral hyphae naman kay mentagrophytes. Next, uh, biochemical testing naman tayo. Hair baiting test or hair per perforation test. Positive dyan si mentagrophytes. Negative si rubrum. Urease test din. Ginagamit to differentiate these two. Positive si mentagrophytes. Negative si rubrum. Okay, subcutaneous mycosis naman tayo. It affects the deeper layer of the skin, no? And madalas, it is due to traumatic implantation. Ano ibig sabihin traumatic implantation? No? Hindi yung emotional trauma, but the physical trauma. Kapag, halimbawa, nasaksak ka or uh, nasagasaan ka, tumilapot ka sa bakanting lote na puro uh, pinaggamitan ng mga construction materials. No? Uh, and then, nasugat ka. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag natin traumatic implantation. Okay. So number one cause is a sp is porothrix shenki which causes your rose gardener's disease or rose thorn. So from the name itself, sino yung madalas ma-affect? Yung mga gardener na nag-aalaga ng rose kasi nakukuha nila yung porothrix shenki sa thorn ng uh, branches ng rose. Okay? Uh, recall lang natin kasama siya dun sa mga dimorphic fungi. Again, the mnemonics is body heat probably changes shape. So, siya yung S. Okay? In biopsy, it is seen as asteroid bodies. So, makikita nyo ito. Kasi ng asteroid. Okay? And then, under KOH smear, makikita sila as cigar-shaped yeast cells. Next naman is chromoblastomycosis, which also known as varicose dermatitis. It is a uh, disorder uh, uh, that is caused by the following. Foncese, pedrosoy, 
or Phyllophora verricosa. And in biopsy, sclerotic bodies or copper pennies under microscope. So, huwag kayo magpapalit to dyan. Ang sporotic shenki, asteroid bodies, sa mga Fonsese pedrosoy or Phyllophora verricosa, sclerotic bodies ang makikita ninyo. Okay, may sotoma naman tayo. What is my sotoma? My sotoma is a group of disorder described as having a chronic granulomatous infection with exudate draining into sinus tract. Aside from uh, scarring, no scar tissue, merong lumalabas din na nana, no? And nagde-drain yan through your sinus tract. Sin ano ba yung mga sinus tract natin? Yung mga frontal sinus, maxillary sinus, yung mga yan. Types. Okay. We have actinomycotic mycetoma, which is a ca caused by bacteria. So, hindi to true mycetoma, ha? And it is caused by nocardia. Next, your eumycotic mycetoma. You means true. It's a true mycetoma caused by fungi. Anong fungi ang nagkakause ng eumycotic mycetoma? Sudalasheria boidi. Okay? Call nga natin, ang nocardia is a acid fast what? Negative positive. Acid fast positive. Next, your systemic mycosis. Again, caused by dimorphic fungi. Pag sinabi natin by dimorphic, mayroon silang mold phase and yeast phase. And among the example of dimorphic fungi, sino ang exception doon? Si coxidodiodes dahil uh, aside uh, mayroon siyang mold phase and spherule phase. Okay? Aside from that, mayroon tayong special mention dito. Okay, penicillium mamifae. Penicillium mamifae causes your systemic penicilliosis. No? Uh, ito lang ang true pathogen among the penicillium genus. Kasi lahat sila normal flora or pwedeng gamitin as medication, diba? as penicillin. Penicillium mamifae resembles histoplasma capsulatum under microscope. So, tingnan natin later on, ano bang itsura ng histoplasma capsulatum? Okay, proceed na tayo with the dimorphic fungi. Blastomyces dermatitidis causes your North American blastomycosis or, or Gilchrist disease or Chicago disease. Okay? From the name itself, um, according to their epidemiology, mas madalas ito sa North American places. Mode of transmission or MOT, inhalation. Okay? So, micro, ang under microscopy naman, anong itsura nila? Oval yeast, no? With broad-based uh, budding. So, mukha silang jar, no? And, nasa ilalim niya, or doon sa other side, is the broad-based budding. Next, your histoplasma capsulatum causes your darling's disease or reticuloendothelial cytomycosis or spelunkers disease, or cave disease. From the name itself, cave. So, nanggagaling yan sa mga anima sa loob ng cave, lalong-lalo na yung mga bats. And specifically, yung kanilang poops. Kapag na-inhale ng tao yung poops ng mga paniki. Okay? Microscopy, they appears as over oval yeast cells with tuberculate macroconidia. So, ano yung ba yung mga macroconidia natin dyan? Yung tumutubo na to. Okay? Yan. These are your ma tuberculate macroconidia. Next, your par paracoxidiodes brasiliensis causes your South American naman. So, huwag kayong magpapalit to dyan. Okay? Si North ay blastomycosis Blastomyces dermatitidis. Si South ay paracoxidiodes. So, BP. Ha? 
And then next, anong other name yan? Brazilian blastomycosis or uh, Lutz Splendor Almeida disease. Under microscope, it appears as mariner's wheel macroconidia. So, mukha silang wheel ng mga uh, ng mga marino. Okay? Next, your coccidiodes imitis causes your Joaquin Valley disease. This is the most virulent of all mycotic agents, ha? And ang level niya is biohazard level 3. So, hindi madaling i-isolate yan in laboratory. Under microscope, it appears as barrel shape, arthroconidia, and, yun nga, wala sang yeast form. Instead of yeast form, ang tawag dyan is spherule form. Then, next, opportunistic mycosis. Again, opportunistic dahil nagaantay lang sila ng opportunity na bumabang immune system ng pasyente before um, developing uh, a full disease. So, these are mainly caused by saprophytes. And these saprophytes are, again, free-living organisms in the environment. Sino yung mga ito? Ano mga example? So, number one, Fusarium. Who, uh, or which develop ma banana shape macroconidia so ma appreciate nyo dito sa picture banana shape macroconidia fusarium next yung mga nasa lupa geotrichum and paisilomyces then let's proceed with the yeast infection so dalawa pinapatanda ko sa inyo no? candida and cryptococcus neoformans Number one, candida. This is the most notorious yeast infection. Pero ano ang most common candida strain na nagkakos ng yeast infection? Number one is the yeast al uh, candida albicans. Second most common lang si candida glabarata. Okay, this spectrum of disease tayo. Number one, oral thrush na makikita yan sa mouth. Ito, madalas to sa mga uh, patient na laging or laging nagbumumog ng um, bactidol okay? kasi namamatay yung mga normal flora or normal bacteria na nagpre-prevent dun sa growth ng other yeast or other opportunistic yeast okay? uh, next your onychomycosis which is an infection of the, of the nail no? yung mismong kuko Ang paronikya naman is the nail fold infection. So, anong difference niyan? Kung indodrawing natin yung koko, right? Eto. So, dito yung parang moon shape or lunula part. So, sa buong nail, dito ang onychomycosis. Yung nakadikit na part dun sa skin, dito, nag dito ang affectation ng paronikya. Okay? Next. Madalas din sa mga diabeti, diabetics ang uh, yeast infection and predominantly dun sa vaginal part. So, ang tawag natin dyan is vaginal candidiasis. And may kita natin sa kanila, they present with white curd-like appearance or uh, dun sa ibang term, cheese-like appearance. For diagnostic test, First, microscopy. Ano ma-appreciate natin under microscope? The presence of pseudohyphae. Recall lang natin, pseudohyphae is a hyphae forms during uh, yeast phase, not in mold phase. Culture media of choice is cornmeal agar, which promotes the production of clamido conidia. So, wag tayo magpapalito, no? We have two kinds of conidia for can candida. We have blastoconidia and clamido conidia. Kailangan niya to Dahil ang chlamydoconidia is a type of conidia which uh, forms during resting phase or kapag wala ng masyadong nutrients in the environment. Kailangan ma-form si chlamydoconidia. Next test is germ tube test which is a presumptive test. Ano reagent natin dyan? Fetal, fetal bovine serum. Ang magpapositive dito it's either condida albicans and candida dubiniensis. Ano ang germ tube uh, appearance? So, makikita natin dito. 
So, ito yung mga candida fungal cell. And once na nagpatak ka or nahaluan sila ng fetal, fetal bovine serum, they create a tube-like structure called germ tube. Okay. Cryptococcus neoformans naman tayo. Cryptococcus is a major cause of opportunity opportunistic meningitis, lalong-lalo na with AIDS patients. So, huwag kayong magpapalito. Candida is for diabetes mellitus, cryptococcus neoformans, sa may mga AIDS. And saan na kukuha ng mga pasyente to? Kapag naka-inhale sila ng soil contaminated with pigeon droppings. On examination, again, review natin, no? Stain of choice for cryptococcus neoformans is India ink and negrosin stain. Pag wala kang ganitong stain, pwede ka rin gumamit ng gram stain. Pero ang gram stain, they appear as star burst appearance. Ito yung makikita natin. Biochemical testing naman tayo. We make use of inositol, phenol, phenol oxidase, urease, and nitrate. Sa lahat ng test na to, sa nitrate, lang siya negative. So, tandaan lang natin, neoformance, negative sa nitrate. Pneumocystis girovecci, ang new name niya, ito. And the former name is the Pneumocystis carinae. So, pre uh, previously, no, meron tayong term na PCP. Ang PCP stands for Pneumocystis, Pneumocystis carinae pneumonia. So, uh, gamit pa rin yung old name. Pero, ang new name niya talaga is Jirovechi. And this is also seen in patients with HIV. Si Cryptococcus neoformans, more on AIDS, uh, AIDS patient na nag nagkaroon na meningitis. Si Pneumocystis, pneumonia naman in AIDS or HIV patients. Okay? Different uh, ang difference nito among other fungal cell is that uh, pneumocystis gerovecci present, uh, presents with the absence of ergosterol in the cell wall. Ano ba tong ergosterol? Ito yung nagkakreate ng lipid bilayer ng cell wall ng mga fungi. Ito lang ang, ba, ang ba, fungi na walang ergosterol sa cell wall. And kung pneumonia ang ang kinokos na disease ni Pneumocystis gerovecci, ano ang specimen of choice? Hindi, hindi sputum, ha? Kundi bronchoalveolar lavage or BAL. Pinaghugasan no? ng uh, from bronchus hanggang dun sa alveolus. Then, let's proceed with virology. General description, viruses consist of either RNA or DNA and never the combination of these two. So, components naman tayo from innermost going outermost. No? Innermost is capsid or the protein shell that goes or encloses the genome. And then second, genome plus capsid will, uh, kapag nag-combine, will result into nick nucleocapsid okay and then si and then outermost pa ulit yan is virion ang virion naman is the complete viral particle okay and then we have a special term or special terminology called dane particle ang dane particle is a virion of hepatitis B and then lastly ang envelope eto no, hindi ito laging present sa mga viruses. Kapag absent to ang term natin dyan is naked virus. Ano ba tong envelope na to Envelope is described as lipid membrane that surrounds the whole virus. Morphology tayo. What is the largest and what is the smallest virus? The largest virus is pox virus smallest ang polio viruses okay pagdating sa shape no mapag-aaralan natin later on sino yung mga may helical shape icosahedral and complex focus tayo kay icosahedral ano yung icosahedral it, it is consisted of 
a lot of capsomeres. Ano tong capsomeres na to? Box-like shape uh, genome. Okay? And ito yung rule natin, no? All naked viruses are icosahedral. But not all icosahedral are naked viruses. Gets ba to? So, lahat daw ng walang envelope, icosahedral ang shape. Pero sa mga icosahedral viruses, either may, uh, may envelope yan or walang envelope. So, pwede silang dalawa. Specimen collection. What is the, when is the best time to collect a uh, specimen that which uh, we know or we acknowledge na merong virus? Okay? Best time is to collect in early stages of infection. No? Best time dyan, no? less than a week kapag collect ka na ng, ano, ng, ng specimen para ma-appreciate mo yung virus sa, iso sa isolation. Uh, and then, mode of collection, most common dyan is swab. No? Uh, and then, swab, ang swab uh, material natin must be made up of dacron and ra or rayon. Do not use swabs containing calcium alginate because it will deteriorate fast yung um, lipid membrane, lalong lalo na sa mga enveloped viruses. Specimen should be con uh, stored at 4 degrees Celsius but not frozen. And kapag na-delay na more than 4 days ang testing, pwede mo siyang i ilagay sa freezer at negative 70, de 70 degrees Celsius. For transport naman, uh, depende yan kung anong goal mo. Okay? If nagme-maintain ka ng temperature, you can use dry ice or liquid nitrogen. It, to keep the tissues from drying naman, you can use saline or triptychase soy broth. And to protect less stable viruses, you can add albumin, gelatin, or serum for their nutrition. Then, diagnostic test. Number one, microscopy. For bright field microscopy, microscopy pwede mo ma-appreciate dyan yung largest virus natin, which is the pox virus. All other viruses, hindi mo na yan ma-appreciate under bright field microscope. So, kailangan mong gumamit ng special microscope, the electron microscope. Okay? Pero gagamit ka lang dito kapag non-culturable ang virus na gusto mong itest. Ang example of non-culturable uh, virus is a Nor Norwalk virus. Ano ulit ang Norwalk virus? It causes AGE. Ano yung AGE? acute gastroenteritis lalong lalo na for adults okay aaralin uh, natin yan later on ha and then next kapag hindi mo talaga magrow no hindi rin siya ma-appreciate under electron microscope you appreciate na lang the cytopathic effect ano ba yung cytopathic effect uh, these are um, changes in the cells na nagkakos ng disease okay and then, cytopathic effects can be classified into uh, the type of inclusion. Meron tayong intranuclear inclusion and intracytoplasmic inclusion. Ang intranuclear inclusion, ibig nang sabihin niya, nasa loob ng nucleus. Ang intracytoplasmic inclusion, nasa loob ng cytoplasm. Sino alang ang nagproproduce ng intranuclear inclusion? Yung mga DNA viruses. Ang, dahil ang DNA viruses assemble at the nucleus. Ang RNA naman produces intracytoplasmic inclusion dahil sa cytoplasm ang site of assembly nila. Okay, these are the names of inclusions, no? proper names and the most common cause of virus and other notes. And then, uh, start tayo with the uh, first one, Caudry type A. Caudry type A is caused by either HSV or VCV. Ang HSV is also known as herpes simplex virus. And VCV stands for varicella zoster virus. 
And remember, yung dalawang virus na to has a tendency of pakisulat na lang latent infection. Ano ibig sabihin ng latent infection? Pwede kasi silang maka-infect and then later on, pag nagamot mo na, pwede rin silang matulog muna. No? Magiging dormant muna sila for a while. Kapag bumaba ang immune system, magkakaroon ng reinfection. Yun ang tinatawag natin, latent infection. And then, para ma-appreciate mo si Caldoy type A, you make use or you do a chunk smear. You collect on, from the base of the skin ulcer. Okay? And then, ano ang ma-appreciate mo under chunk smear? The owl's eye appearance of the cells. Next type, Caldoy type B, which is not commonly... Uh, seen nowadays in the books kasi ang cowdry type B daw ay old or obsolete term na. No? Kasi hindi na daw talaga siya true inclusion dahil very uh, subjective lang siya. No? And then, dati, no, uh, sabi daw nila ang cowdry type B is caused by either CMV or cytomegalovirus and poliovirus. Next, your halo cells. Halo cells is also known as coilocytes. And coilocytes, iisa lang yan, human papilloma virus. Ano ang description natin dyan? Dahil tinawag siyang halo, no? Meron siyang cells and then merong surrounding na non-staining halo. Negribodies naman, ang cause lang yan is the rabies virus. And, hindi mo ma-appreciate si Negribodies habang buhay pa yung pasyente. Pagpatay na yung pasyente. Kasi ang specimen mo would be brain matter no? during the autopsy of the uh, patient. Next naman, councilman bodies. Councilman bodies is caused by, laging yellow yan, ha? Either yellow fever and hepatitis. Diba hepatitis causes jaundice? So, yan. Councilman bodies, appreciate natin dyan, is yung laging mga nagkakos ng yellow. The yellow fever and acute viral hepatitis. Okay, next. Wartin Finkel Day inclusions. Ang cause nyan, or causative agent, is rubiola virus. Ano ang sickness or disease na kinakos ng rubiola? Your measles. Okay. Henderson Patterson or HP bodies or molluscum bodies. Uh, it is caused by molluscum contagiosum virus which belongs to pox viruses. Guarnieri bodies naman caused by a lot of ano, uh, viruses under pox viridae such as your smallpox and chicken pox as well. Downy cell then no? Uh, it's not a real inclusion, but a cytopathic change. Uh, it is also known as reactive lymphocyte. And nangyayari lang siya once you have an infection due to EBV or Epstein-Barr virus. Okay, another type of testing, nu nucleic acid based, uh, lalong lalo na ang ginagamit natin, ginagamit natin is the PCR o polymerase chain reaction. Ano ang enzyme na ginagamit in PCR? Your TAC polymerase. Ano ay ibig sabihin ng TAC sa TAC polymerase? Thermus aquaticus. Then third, culture, which is the gold standard. Okay? There are a lot of uh, modes of uh, viral culture. So, unahin natin, no? A new animal inoculation. Pwede natin gamitin yung suckling mice for the isolation of Coxsackie A virus. Embryon, embryonated eggs. Pwede tayong gum, um, pwede natin i-isolate dyan. Influenza virus. And then lastly, pwede tayong gumamit ng cell culture which is the most common. It has three subtypes. Meron tayong primary cell culture, fi uh, finite or low passage culture, and continuous culture. So, ano mga, uh, ilan ang pwede mong reproduce per each type of cell culture? As a primary cell, minimal lang, no? Up to less, uh, less than 10 cells.
cell division lang. Finite up to 50. Continuous, no? Tuloy-tuloy. So, infinite number of cell ang pwede mo magamit. Or ma pwede mo ma-produce. An example of primary cell culture is the usage of primary monkey kidney or PMK cell. Sa finite naman, pwede kang gumamit ng neo human neonatal lung or lungs ng newborn. And then next, sa continuous, iba-iba yan. No? Pwede tayong gumamit ng HEP2 or from the cancer of larynx or human laryngeal epithelial carcinoma. A549 naman, human lung carcinoma. And vero cells from monkey kidney cell. Okay, ito tayo sa mga rules, no? The general features of DNA and RNA. Umpisahan natin sa DNA viruses. All DNA viruses are DSDNA or double-stranded DNA except for parvoviridae which is a single-stranded DNA. All DNA viruses are naked except for hepadnaviridae, herpesviridae, and poxviridae. All DNA viruses have icosahedral capsid symmetry except for poxviridae which have complex shape. Then another rule, all DNA viruses replicate in the nucleus except for poxviridae. Lastly, all DNA viruses have linear genome except eto mga to they have circular naman circular genome papilloma viridae polyoma viridae and hepadna viridae so it takes time to memorize this so uh, i-absorb nyo muna sa RNA naman mas marami tayong rules dito okay all RNA viruses are SS or single stranded RNA except for reud viridae which is a di double-stranded RNA or DSRNA. All RNA viruses are enveloped except picornaviridae, caliciviridae, and rheoviridae which are naked viruses. Next, all RNA viruses replicate in the cytoplasm except orthomyxoviridae and retroviridae which replicates in the nucleus. Next rule, all RNA viruses are non-segmented genome, except Bunyaviridae, Orthomyxoviridae, Rheoviridae, and Arena viridae, which have segmented genome. Next naman tayo, sa icosahedral um, RNA pa rin tayo, no? Sino yung may icosahedral shape and at the same time, naked? PCR, tandaan natin, picornaviridae, caliciviridae, and rheoviridae. Sino naman yung icosahedral pero envelope? Togaviridae, flaviviridae, and retroviridae. Sino naman ang may helical shape? Coronaviridae, orthomyxoviridae, paramyxoviridae, Arena viridae, filoviridae, bunya viridae, and rhabdoviridae. Pakibilugan si rhabdoviridae kasi kakaiba ang shape niya. It's in bullet shape. Okay, next. Meron tayong RNA viruses which are arbovirus as well. Ano yung arbovirus? These are arthropod-born viruses or Daladala ng mga insect, lalong-lalo na mga mosquitoes. Okay? Sino yung mga yan? Bunya viridae, flaviviridae, which, uh, which is uh, in which dengue virus are classified, togaviridae, and togaviridae as well. Okay, dito tayo, Baltimore classification. This is a classification based on the structure of the genome. So, tandaan natin, no, ano ibig sabihin ng class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, and yung mga example niya. 
Okay? So, balik tayo sa class 1. Class 1 is also known as double-stranded DNA viruses. So, sino yung mga, di ba, sinabi natin, all DNA are double-stranded except your parvoviridae, no? which is a single-stranded. So, pilugan natin yung class 2, which is single-stranded DNA virus, parvoviridae. Class 3 naman, double-stranded RNA virus. So, sino lang, di ba, lahat ng RNA viruses are single-stranded except reuviridae, which is a DSRNA. So, highlight na natin yan, no? Must know. Okay? And the rest of the clan of the RNA are single-stranded positive sets. So, remember natin kanina, class 4 is single-stranded positive sense. Then, class 5, single-stranded negative sense. Okay? Class 6, single-stranded positive sense RNA with DNA intermediate or may partner na DNA polymerase. Si retro Viridae. Siya yung classification 6. Classification 7, double-stranded DNA viruses with RNA intermediate hepad na viridae. So, tandaan nyo yung mga hinighlight natin kanina. Okay? Okay. Para sa mga student na medyo into photographic memory, no? Uh, mas magandang aralin ito, no? Sino may envelope? Sino ang walang envelope? Naked? ba PCR? Right? And icosahedral uh, at the same time? Okay. And icosahedral envelope? Yan. Next, discuss natin si antigenic shift versus drift. And this is most common, commonly occur in influenza viruses. So, si, ano ba ibig sabihin ng shift and drift? So, based dito sa picture, no, si shift, kapag nag-combine siya with all, all other viruses, it will create a new subtype. Si drift naman, nasa sariling uh, cell lang, uh, viral structure lang, no, nagkaroon ng new or small mutation inside. But not creating a new subtype. So, in table, ano ang difference ng dalawa? So, shift, uh, it, it, it causes a major change, no? That can produce a new class of virus. Drift naman, minor change lang yan. So, shift, uh, kaya major change dahil meron exchange of gene segments in between the viral uh, particles. Sa drift naman, due to small point mutation lang. Sa so shift, it occurs suddenly, biglaan. Unlike sa drift, gradual lang yan. Sa so shift, madalas, si class type, uh, influenza, class, or subtype A. Sa so drift, influenza, uh, subtype A and B. And sino dito ang most common uh, associated with pandemics, si shift, no? It may cause epidemic and pandemic, si drift, epidemic. Okay, other terminologies naman tayo, viroids or viroids, these are uh, viral-like infectious agents that causes diseases, lalong lalo na sa plants, no? It cannot be har harbored by human beings. Prions naman, it's not a true virus kasi ang content lang yan is solely protein. No? Walang detectable genome or nucleic acid. Example of prions, crappy, mud cow disease, kuru, and Kreutzfeldt jakob disease. So, let's proceed with uh, the diseases caused by specific viruses. Ah, uh, galing to sa summary table natin, no? Paki-open na lang or paki-print na lang before uh, this discussion. So, dito tayo sa mga DNA viruses muna tayo. 
Adenovirus day is ang example niya adenovirus. Ano ang nagko ano mga diseases associated with adenovirus? Number one, your acute respiratory diseases, lalong lalo na sa mga military military recruits, no? Na sa AFP, PMA, yung mga yan. Another is mahilig siya sa ma sa mata, no? Meron tayong tinatawag na kerato conjunctivitis and faringo conjunctival fever. Ang sore eyes brought about by adeno adenovirus is very contagious, no? Kaya kaya niya mag-produce ng epidemic ang uh, ng epidemics, no? Or endemics uh, uh, on a certain area. Another is they can cause infantile gastroenteritis and ito, he acute hemorrhagic cystitis, UTI, no? Uh, ito lang yung isa sa mga viruses that can cause UTI. Next, your papilloma viridae. Example, human papilloma virus. Ano ang mga types ng papilloma virus that can cause disease? Ang type 6 and 11, for warts yan. Okay? Lalo lalo na sa anogenital. Ano ibig sabihin ng anogenital? Anus plus the genitalia. And yung warts na kinokos ng human papilloma virus is also known as condylo condyloma acuminatum. Huwag magpapalito, may narinig na rin tayong condyloma, right? Doon sa secondary syphilis. Ano ang term nila doon? Condyloma lata. Next type, your 16 and 18 is associated with cervical cancer. So, ito, mas la malaking number, mas grabe yung kinakos na disease. Okay, next, parvoviridae. Example is human parvovirus B19. Narinig niyo na ba siya back in HEMA? Of course, right? Uh, ano mga diseases na kinakos niya? Number one, erythe erythema infectiosum or also known as the fifth disease. No? And ano ang itsura ng mga uh, pasyente meron niyan? Lalong lalo na sa mga infants, no? slap cheek appearance lalong lalo na dun sa yun nga dun sa mukha okay mapulang mapula yung cheeks number 2 transient a uh, plastic uh, uh, crisis and pure red cell aplasia this is a type of a plastic anemia no lalong lalo na ang target nila is the red blood cells and lastly yung pinakadelikado no uh, which can cause fatality to you Newborns, hydrops fatalis. Ano meron kay hydrops fatalis? Hydrops means water. Punong-puno ng water yung buong katawan ng bata. Dahil, akala niya, no, uh, bagsak na bagsak yung um, fluids ng bata. And then, uh, i-complement niya by producing a lot of fluids. Bakit bagsak daw ang fluids or uh, fluids within the vessel ng bata. Dahil pinapatay ni parvovirus B9 till yung mga red cell along the bloodstream ng bata. And most common na target niya is the immature erythroid cells. No? Yung mga batang red blood cells. And as we all know, back in HEMA, mas maraming immature cells pa ang mga baby as compared to adults. Okay, next group, your polyoma viridae. So, magpapalito ha, polyoma viridae does not include polyoviruses. Ano ang under ni polio, kay polio, polyoma viridae? JC virus, which causes your PMLE your, or progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. So, ito, no, dati akala nila um, related kay measles, no? So, ngayon, na-discover nila ibang virus pala ang nag cause nito, si JC virus ng polyoma viridae. BK virus causes your nephropathy in transplant patients after transplantation uh, surgery. Ano yung nephropathy? This is disease, no? Which causes uh, kidney failure. Merkel cell virus naman, isa ito sa mga virus that can cause cancer. What kind of cancer? Merkel cell skin carcinoma. So, isa to sa mga cells, sa mga viruses na nagkakos ng cancer 
cells. So, ano yung isa kanina ulit? Your human papilloma virus which causes your cervical cancer. Paxbury Day naman tayo. Very, um, first Paxbury Day discovered is variola which causes your smallpox. No? And then the vaccine for smallpox came from another virus. Their vaccine niya. And vaccine niya uh, is isolated from another organism. No? Cows. Galing sa mga cows. Okay? And yung virus na to is so uh, weak that it cannot cause uh, full disease in humans. No? But it it is very efficient in producing antibodies. Kaya ginamit siya as smallpox vaccine. Moluscum contagiosum uh, naman, na rinig nyo na yan kanina, ano ang inclusion na, na uh, meron kay Moluscum contagiosum? Yung HP bodies. Ano yung HP bodies ulit? Henderson-Patterson bodies. Okay? Ano ba yung mga Moluscum? These are uh, nodules with dome shape with umbilical umbilicated center. No? Meron siyang parang uh, bundok na may uh, butas sa gitna. So, dome shape with umbilicated center. Hepadnaviridae, hepatitis B, okay? Ang um, hepatitis B, also known as, uh, also cause, causes a cancer called hepatocellular cancer. So, another virus na nagkakos ng cancer yan. Okay, aside from hepatocellular cancer, it is also uh, it also causes contagious hepatitis or infectious hepatitis and cirrhosis. Herpes viridae naman tayo, madami-dami to. Okay? Unahin natin si HSV1 or human simplex virus 1. Si human simplex virus 1 causes uh, sores or blisters around the oral cavity, okay? Oral labial. Uh, region. It causes cold sores and fever blisters. HSV2 causes sa baba naman. No? Pag 1 sa taas, pag 2 na sa baba or genital herpes. Okay? Uh, next, your varicella zoster viruses no? um, which causes varicella or chicken pox. Ano ang itsura ng chicken pox sa balat? Ang, ang description natin dyan is jute drop on a rose petal. Mapulang-mapula yung skin. And then may mga uh, parang drops of blood or, or water dun sa skin. Ito yung mga tinatawag natin mga parang nagtutubig dun sa tuwing may chicken pox infection. And then meron tayong latent infection, di ba? Ang tinatawag natin doon sa latent infection na yon is herpes zoster or shingles. Once na na-reactivate kapag bumaba yung immune system ng pasyente. Next virus, Epstein-Barr virus. No? Ano ulit ang cytopathic effect na ma-appreciate natin under microscope? It is your reactive lymphocyte or downy cells. Ano mga disease, uh, disease association natin dito? Number one, infectious mononucleosis or the kissing disease dahil natin siya through oral cavity. Next, ito rin. Uh, types of cancer din as well. Okay? Burkitt lymphoma, nasopharyngeal lymphoma, and mga Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Pwede yan. Uh, Ikos ng EBV. Back in HEMA, ano ang Burkitt's lymphoma? Ano ma-appreciate natin under microscope? Ma-appreciate natin is the uh, starry sky appearance, right? Okay, continue natin, no? Under herpes viridae pa rin tayo. Next is CMV or cytomegalovirus. It causes infectious mononucleosis as well. But, Kung may kita natin or in-specify ng question is being heterophile negative, CMV ang answeran natin. Ay, pag walang nakasulat na heterophile result, infectious mononucleosis is caused by 
Ang answer natin is EBV. Ano ba yung heterophile? Heterophile test. Natatandaan nyo sa immunosero, no? Heterophile test is a test for agglutination of um, ship RBC. Okay? Next is, it is also implicated in congenital infections. So, ano yung mga mnemonics natin ng mga organism that causes congenital infection? Tandaan natin yung torches. Okay. T is for toxoplasma gondii. Okay. O is for other agents. Mo, ma, in, included na din dyan si Zika virus. Okay. R is for rubella virus. C, cytomegalovirus. H, E, herpes simplex virus. And S, syphilis. Brought about by what bacteria? Tre treponema pallidum pallidum. Okay. HHV6 uh, or human herpes 6. Ano ang kinakos yung disease? Your exa exa exantem subitum or also known as rosola infantum. And also, in rosola infantum, implicated din dyan si HHV7 or human herpes virus 7. HHV8 or yung bago natin, no? Ang other name niya is KSHV. Ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Kaposi sarcoma herpes virus. And this uh, HHV8 is um, a co-infection in HIV which causes your cancer na tinatawag natin kaposi sarcoma. It is a lymphoma specifically found in AIDS. Okay, RNA viruses na tayo, no? Done na tayo with the DNA viruses. First, with uh, under RNA viruses, Arenaviridae. Arenaviridae, ang most common strain niyan is the Lassa fever virus from the name itself. Lassa fever. Okay? Next, your Bunyaviridae, under dyan, Hantavirus and Sinnombre virus. Hantavirus, Ang specific uh, disease association yan is a hemorrhagic fever with renal failure or HFRF. Okay? Hindi siya implicated with this one, although nandun yung name itself. Because, akala nila before, no, hantavirus related ito. Yung pala bagong strain pala siya, no? It's a mutation daw of hantavirus. And, um, bagong pangalan niya is Sinnombre virus. Next, Calisiviridae. Ang example nito is Norwalk virus, which causes acute gastroenteritis among adults. Okay? May mamimit tayo na gastroenteritis din sa mga bata. Pero ang tatandaan lang natin, no? Ang, ang clue natin, no? Walk. Siyempre, adults can walk, infants can. No? So, Norwalk is for adults. Next, ang uso ngayon, Coronaviridae. Example is coronavirus which causes no SARS. Previously, ano ibig sabihin ng SARS? Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. It also causes common colds. Your MERS-CoV, ano ibig sabihin ng MERS-CoV? Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. And then now, yung COVID-19 natin. Next, your filoviridae. Filoviridae, ito yung mga uh, hemorrhagic fevers natin. No? Ebola virus, Ebola hemorrhagic fever. Marburg virus, Marburg hemorrhagic fever. So, di tayo malilito dyan. Next group is Flaviviridae. Matatanda nyo yung Flaviviridae. Ito yung mga arboviruses natin. Ano ulit ang mga example ng arboviruses natin? Togaviridae, Flaviviridae, and Bunyaviridae. So, let's proceed with Flaviviridae. Flaviviridae, ano mga example niya? Dengue virus. No? Uh, 
uh, it causes your dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome. Ano yung pinagkaiba ng dengue hemorrhagic fever and dengue shock syndrome? Dito sa dengue shock syndrome, bagsak si BP or other vital signs. Okay? Talong na ano na yung BP natin. Okay? And then hemorrhagic fever, fever na may bleeding pa. Ano, ano yung mga symptoms sa mga bleeding? Abdominal pain, nosebleed, and uh, anong tawag dito? Um, loss of uh, platelets. Next, your yellow fever virus. Ano ulit yung inclusion na associated with Yellow fever virus, your councilman bodies. And yellow fever virus also causes hemorrhagic fever as well. Hepatitis C. Hepatitis C is most commonly implicated in post-transfusion hepatitis. Kasi mahirap siyang i-detect para uh, kapag nagtitest tayo ng mga blood bags. And also, it, uh, ang other name for hepatitis for this is NANB hepatitis. Ano ibig sabihin ng NANB? Non-A, non-B hepatitis. Okay. So, Hep E viridae naman tayo. Hep E viridae or hepatitis E virus. Uh, dati, no? Ang um, hepatitis E virus kasama siya with Kalisi viridae. So, ngayon, hiniwalay na siya. So, ano ang disease association with hepatitis E virus? It causes fulminant hepatitis, lalong lalo na with pregnant women. And hepatitis E is a fika oral transmission. No? Nakaka nakakukuha sa pagkain. Next, your ortho mix of every day. Ito yung mga influenza natin. No? We have uh, right now, uh, most common natin is three types, A, B, and C. Again, no, nalala nyo yung si influenza A, it is capable of uh, having an antigenic shift and drift. Ang shift, mabilisang changes. It that uh, result into major um, major mutation causing sa, a new subtype. Si drift, mabagal, no, minor changes, walang new subtype. Influenza uh, type B causes only antigenic drift. Si C, ang tawag natin dyan, stable. It cannot undergo shift and drip, dri, uh, drift kasi stable, very stable ang kanyang viral particle. Paramyxoviridae naman tayo. Sa paramyxoviridae, we can uh, under this rubiola. Si rubiola, ang example dyan is measles. Ano ang makikita natin, no? A very pathognomonic sign. Ano ibig sabihin ba ng pathognomonic sign? Kapag nakita mo na to, wala nang, hindi ka na magkakamali, no? In diagnosis. Okay? Hindi mo na kailangan ng iba pang differential. Ang makikita mo dito is complex spots. Ano ba ang complex spots? So, ang complex spots natin is found or um, located in the oral mucosa. Lalong lalo na sa cheek part ng oral mucosa. Ito yung mga white spots natin. Okay? And then next, your mump, mumps virus, which causes inflammation of parotid glands or parotitis. Uh, in the long run, pwede mag-cause ng orchitis. Ano ibig sabihin ng orchitis? Inflammation of the testicles and meningitis as well. Pero, hindi ito ang most common cause ng sterilization among males. No? Ano ang cause ng pagkabaog? Ano ang most common cause ng pagkabaog ng mga males? This is uh, caused by varicocele. Ang varicocele, hindi yan cause ng kahit anong virus at hindi rin yan cause ng mouse virus. But instead, varicocele is a varicose veins na may kita dun sa scrotum ng uh, pasyente. Okay? Next, your RSV or respiratory syncytial virus. Uh, RSV affects lower respiratory tract. No? Lalong lalo na sa mga infants and young children. Next, 
Bicorna viridae. So again, no, pinatanda ko sa inyo, ang poliovirus is not under polioma viridae but instead dun sa Picorna viridae. And again, polio, poliovirus causes your poliomyelitis. Okay? Ano ba meron kay poliomyelitis? It is a peripheral nerve problem. Ibig sabihin yung paggalaw or paralysis dun sa hands or feet na nagkakos ng shrinkage of muscles kasi hindi mo na nagagamit yung specific area. So, may makikita tayong mga pulube, no? Na hindi pantay yung paa. Okay? So, malamang wild type of poliovirus yung na-acquire nila. Next, your Coxsackie virus. Uh, ano yung mga types niyan? Coxsackie A causes your herpangina. A16 hand, foot, mouth disease or HFMD and type B is pleurodynia. So ano yung ibig sabihin ng mga to, no? Herpangina is blisters, no? That can be found in the face, along lalo na din do sa uh, nasal cavity. Okay? Ang A16, ito medyo weird yung pattern nito, kaya ang nilagay na lang sa name, no? Yung mga most common regions of the blisters. Lalo na sa hand, so paa, talampakan, no? And dun sa bibig, lalo na sa bandang lips. Okay? Pag sabay-sabay yan nangyari, no? Uh, HM, HFMD na yan. And then, Coxsackie B, Pleurodynia. Pleurodynia is in scientific term, chest pain. So, may chest pain ka na, no? Meron ka pang infection dun sa abdominal area. Rhinovirus naman tayo. Rhinovirus affects upper respiratory tract, ano, uh, tract of the children. As uh, in contrast with RSV or respiratory syncytial virus, it affects the lower respiratory tract. And then last, hepatovirus. Ang uh, example natin dyan is hepatitis A. Hepatitis A, kamukha siya ni hepatitis A na transmitted through intake of contaminated food and water. Rio Viridae naman tayo. Sa Rio Viridae, this is uh, also the DSDNA or double-stranded DNA or, or RNA, I mean. DSRNA. Rio Viridae, ang example dyan is rotavirus, gastroenteritis in infants and children. How about in adults? It is Norwalk virus kapag bata no right uh, rota virus ang most common cause another type or less common is cultivirus or colorado tick fever no na first dis na discover syempre doon sa colorado state Retroviridae naman tayo. Retroviridae, ito yung mga lento, lentiviruses natin. And under lentiviruses, yung HIV-1 and HIV-2, which can both cause your AIDS. HIV-1, i-compare natin dalawa, okay? HIV-1 has higher infectivity and virulence, higher transmission, even in small amounts, no? Kaya maka-infect. And globally prevalent. So, ito yung nakikita din sa um, sa Philippines. Itong type na to. Ang origin yan is, com most com is common chimpanzees. HIV-2 naman, less benign dahil low ang virulence, no? low transmission. Kahit madaming amounts of virus, kailangan ng maraming amounts of virus para maka create ng disease manifestation. It is common only in West Africa and ang origin daw niyan is from Suti Mga Bay. Rhabdoviridae naman tayo. Rhabdoviridae, example is Lysa virus, can cause your rabies. Okay? Ano ulit ang inclusion body found in rabies? Negri bodies, which can only be biopsy through your or can only be um, observed under uh, or, or using brain specimen after autopsy pag namatay na yung patient okay? and lastly for the RNA viruses is Togaviridae Togaviridae is uh, ano under dito 
rubella. Okay? Rubella is also known as the German measles or three-day measles. So, mas, mala, uh, mas mabilis mawala si yung measles na to. Okay? And that's it for today. Um, kung may mga questions pa or comments, please write a comment or question uh, through uh, Facebook Messenger or Canvas Inbox. And for further announcement, please wait lang tayo kung anong gagawin natin next week. Okay?